Right, now, a few times there you mentioned your Kickstarter. Yes, sir. And this Kickstarter is to fund a mobile game based on Alien Gladiators, and I think I'm pronouncing <laughs> this correctly, from the Antares Ascended universe. The game is called Antar- Antares uh, Arena. And um, I, I guess I just wanted to, uh, like, I understand, you know, you're still pushing, um, that the game is still in development and it's, you know, obviously dependent on, on the Kickstarter yeah, and everything. Yeah. But let's assume it, all things go well. Um, first of all, is the game, will it be like a freemium model or what yep. kind of model? Okay. Yep. So, so here, let me, let me give you kind of the lay of the land, right? The idea is you come in and uh, you'll have a gladiator template that you can choose off of your initial four gladiators. Um, you have different skills and um, they are, uh, <laughs> they are all based off of, uh, of traditional uh, paper and dice role playing because that's stuff that I've written before. And so when I coded a lot of the, the sequences, um, even though it's like you might have a, a strength of 3.2 in my mind, that's three dice plus two, um, you know, and so that's sort of how I've coded the mentality in the background. Right. Um, you go in and you can buy weapons, you can buy armor, uh, you challenge, you go into the arenas and you will, you will fight. Um, you'll have winnings. Uh, even if you lose, you're still going to get some money. The currency is called Kovals. Uh, and then you train yourself up and then you, you know, you kind of, uh, lather, rinse, repeat, right? Um, going beyond that, the idea is that, uh, and all of that's free to play, right? You know, I'm, I am going to be putting in something that, you know, a lot of games have, like you have only so many, uh, uh, times to challenge mm. while you power your, your stamina back up and stuff like that. So that'll be time-based. Um, and, and, you know, I'm going to be introducing concept of gems and gems will allow you to, if you want to go fight again before you're completely powered back up, if you want to buy more advanced weaponry, um, things of that nature, gems will be something that you can either buy or watch a video to, to like to, to earn. Um, and there will be videos to earn stuff. You will be able to buy, buy more gems and use them to buy more of the currency, like the, the coals and stuff like that. I'm trying to keep it simple, right? Like I don't want it to be a billion different things that people would spend money on um, because I want it to be more about the fun and the gameplay. Yeah. Um, and then the eventual idea is that you're going to be able to buy additional gladiators uh, so that you can have a, um, you know, just kind of a, a cast of characters that, that you're playing, which, you know, you can level up your different gladiators. Uh, I'm going to set it up so that you can buy weapons and then stick them in a storage locker and then go buy another weapon for yourself instead of selling back your old weapon, you throw it in the storage locker and you're, you know, one of your lesser gladiators can now use that so you don't have to go buy it again. And um, eventually I'm going to be introducing, you know, instead of having just one-on-one, you'll have three-on-three kind of battles and stuff like that. And, um, and ever evolving, right? I mean, there are, there are games that I play that there's a little bit of inspiration that's come from, you know, if anybody's played Dragon City, if anybody's played Archero, um, you know, those are games that I, I sort of had looked at and said, you know what, I like these aspects of the game. And so I'm going to try and incorporate them in. Uh, we're incorporating in um, fighter prestige, you know, different levels of, um, of arenas are going to have different levels of fighters. So are you fighting somebody who's on your level, who's below you, who's stronger than you? It's going to affect your prestige. It's going to, like, their prestige levels will be different. It's going to affect your rewards. Um, you know, there's going to be an audience happiness factor. So, like, if the... <laughs> that's oh, cool. yeah. And that's, you know, there's, like, I want to do a sliding scale where it's, like, look, you know what? The, the reality is that um, if it's a squash match then no one wants to see that. You know, I mean, I remember... Are you by chance a wrestling fan as well? <laughs> I, so I haven't watched in, in a few years. Okay. But, um, but yeah, I mean, my, my friends and I in college, uh, so I went to the University of Albany, and, uh, well, I'm like, making it... If I use any of that stuff for my passwords, it would be so easy to hack me at this point. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I went to, to, to University of Albany, and my, my friends and I, we would go to uh, a Raw or SmackDown yeah, taping yeah, yeah. every single year. Um, we went to, there was a, a pay-per-view that came, so we went to that. And, uh, yeah, cool. so, so in the, you know, in the late 90s and the early 2000s, I was, I was pretty much a, so that's the thing. It's like, 
uh, I think about uh, Bill Goldberg back in the day, WCW, and his matches were so often squash matches. And I'm like, all right, that was kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, go Bill. But I, like, not as impressive as the long matches. You I, know? I like, think I it really depends, doesn't it? Like, if yeah, like I, I could. By the way, I'm a massive wrestling fan. I could talk all day about this, but <laughs> we'll, we'll bring it back to the game. Sure. Um, I get, I get what you're saying. I think is a, there's a big difference between obviously, you know, if you're watching something, you know, outside, um, outside in an arena, you know, you're yeah. watching it on an arena and stuff, and and you're watching it live, you you kind of maybe feel cheated. Whereas if you're watching it, you know, on TV, maybe it's a bit different. I don't know. Yeah, like, that's true. I suppose you can make an argument for both. Really, yeah. it depends. But in the context of a game, you know, I've seen this in certain games. I've seen this in um, WWE games. I've seen them do that. Yep. Um, I think I've seen it in something else. I can't remember. But yeah, it's it is it make it makes sense. Um, and I suppose it depends how you want to play a game. Do you want to get it through it quickly, or do you want to kind of like have fun? Do you know what I mean? Like for instance, you said yeah. there's like different types of fighters. So I imagine there'll be like fighters that are more like you know, assassins, ones that are more like brute force. Yeah, you've you got know. speedy people. You've got the yeah, savage, yeah, like, yeah. like, you know, I just want to, I'm going to swing at your head every single time. And, uh, you know, uh, I've actually put in stuff where it's like, if you just sit there and you're, you're going headshot, 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 Hey, you're swinging out like this, you're up. And I've made it so that the computer's going to recognize, Oh, you're doing multiple head swings in a row. I'm going to hit you in the body now because you're leaving yourself wide open. And now you're going to get hit even harder. And that's, yeah. you're taking a risk. And, um, you know, I've got different stuff like that. Like it's, if I, if you get hit in the head, but it's not hard enough to do damage, you're going to be dizzy. Uh, you know, you get hit in the arm and it's not enough to do damage. Your, your arm is going to be numb, which means it's going to be harder to land the strike. Right. And, you know, I, I try to make it so that there's, it has to be, I like the casual aspect of it. So there has to be casual aspect to it, mm. but there also has to be some, like, it's, it's not, you're not just going tap, 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 next, tap, 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 next. you know, like there's, there's yeah, gotta be something yeah, yeah, to yeah. it where you've got to think there's gotta be some strategy to it. It's tricky, isn't it? No, knowing which, which type of game to, to do, because, you know, classic beat em ups, you know, they do, they do well, but so, yes. so to, you know, but this is the thing, like fans these days are so picky. Some people say, Oh, I hate classic beat em ups. <laughs> I, I want something that's more, you know, you know, there's more strategy to it and it's yeah. more complex. And other people will say like, Oh, there's not enough fighting. It's too strategic. Like what? I don't yeah. know. That's but, why yeah. the top end of my aspiration is like, you know, a couple of hundred thousand people playing it. I'm yeah. good. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't need millions. I want, I want to have people who are actually going to enjoy it and who are going to mm. give feedback of, Hey, I like this part. And you know, but I would love, I would love to see something like that. You know, I did right. um, going through with this web version of the game as I was kind of building out the prototype, I had a bunch of alpha testers and you know, okay. who I would ask and I would survey, do you like this part? Do you, as I built the functionality along, you know, is this stuff that's cool to you? Do you want this? Do you care about this? Should I dig? And, and I got really interesting feedback. So 